Hey, what's up, guys? Time to give some answers to some frequently asked questions. Everybody, how you guys doing? Um, so this is a, uh, I guess like frequently asked questions I get the most of. So I scoured through a lot of my different sites and I picked uh, questions that I have gotten at least over seven times. So and so I picked ten questions. So yeah, start answering. Well, you can take a guess. I, well, actually, I wasn't going to let you guys guess it, but I'll just tell you guys anyways. I'm 31 years old, and I'm going to be 32 in August. So, what's the best advice that you should currently get? Really kind of hard to say. Um, right? You follow mobile technology. There really isn't, like, a best device, because every so much, flagships and even mid-tiers come out that trump what was released. So... I really wouldn't say that there is a specific best device you should get, but I think that people should grab devices that is going to make them happy and they're not going to feel like took when after they buy the device. So always go with what you feel is nice to you and don't worry about what everyone else is getting out there because, you know, the device is going to operate for you. So why not pick something that you are generally going to be happy with? Good rule of thumb, guys. From Hawaii, but basically I'm a military brat, so I've been anywhere, like not anywhere, but I've been everywhere. Um, I've been to places like Florida, Texas, Oklahoma, Washington State, California. Been to Guam, Japan, uh, Philippines. So I've been around. My dad was in the Air Force, but um, where I was mostly raised was in the state of Hawaii, so that's where I get all my values and stuff from, and morals. Well, that's easy, Android. Um, it's not to say that Apple's bad, but when you look around, especially like the Apple iPhone 5S, completely unlocked, like $1,000, which is like the price of a decent used vehicle that's at least nine years old, nine or 10 years old, I'd rather have the car that's more useful in many ways than an iPhone. So to me, Apple products are just overpriced for glitz and glamour. Strip all that away and let's really see what the business is between the two. What is that metal thing that you're smoking on? This, my friends out there, this is an e-cigarette or an e-cigarette pen or a vape pen or whatever. There's so many names for it. But basically, um, I quit smoking back in uh, February. And I've been off cigarettes all the way until now. So I'm about to hit my five month. Yeah, my five month anniversary. And it's all thanks to this. Clean air, uh, no secondhand smoke because I have kids around me and I still get my nicotine and I'm able to actually start reducing the amount of nicotine that I get. Therefore, once I hit zero milligrams, I'll completely put it down. So that's what it is. What happened to my Galaxy S2? Simple. Um, the power button on it has that same glitch that numerous people with the Epic 4G Touch have had, which is the power button like ceasing to work. And so therefore, when you stick a, a battery in it, as soon as that battery touches the copper prongs in the back, it automatically boots up because the power button is malfunctioned. I'm going to send it off um, probably this August to have it repaired. I'm not in a rush to get it repaired because there's hardly any uh, development still happening for it. The development in XDA, which is the most trusted place that I go to, has slowed down so I believe the most current one is San Andreas Mod 11 and the last time that that ROM was updated was April 27th so there just hasn't been much development on it. 
uh, been a customer of Virgin Mobile, I would say, since 2011 straight. Well, no, let me take it back. 2010. Uh, I got the LG Rumor Touch in 2010. I've been a previous customer to Virgin Mobile back in 2006 through 2008. Switched over to Altel. And then from Altel, I went to Boost Mobile. I'll take that back. From Altel, I went to Metro PCS in 2009. And in 2009, in the middle of 2009, I switched to Boost Mobile and stayed with them up until 2010. Got the Rumor Touch. Went with Virgin Mobile and have been with Virgin Mobile since. So, um, with this channel, I've actually been on for two years already. Uh, started this channel in 2012. Originally, it was a collaboration channel between me and several people who were involved with mobile technology. Um, so, my other partners basically went their own way. And um, one of them um, is like, I, I still communicate with one of them. You know, but I mean, he's got his own thing going on, and so I just basically stuck through with this channel and just continued on making videos on here. Um, I've actually been doing YouTube since 2011, uh, but that that venture kind of failed, and um, so I kind of like restarted over, and I used uh, this channel, which I would say kind of failed in the beginning from what I wanted it to be, and kind of just like, you know took two negatives and made a positive out of it and now um, I'm doing pretty good so I would say for myself but yeah two years with this channel for me CDMA what I would advise you guys to each his own who are those kids in the background they're mine uh, my daughters are always around me so you might catch them especially you know they're they're, they're young. One is about to be two, the other one's turning four. So they're, they're, they're all under five years old. And they make a lot of noise. And sometimes that noise can go through walls. So please forgive me for that. But I love my kids, so yeah. But they're always going to be around me. It's the way it is. Anyways, guys, um, so that's it. Ten questions answered that I receive most often and frequent, frequently asked. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. You guys have a great week.